Hello, welcome to a new release of Rancher Desktop. But what is Rancher Desktop? Rancher Desktop is a nice piece of software that provides you a local environment to develop containers and workloads that runs on Mac, on Windows, and Linux. It offers you container management. You can build, push, pull your images. It offers you a local Kubernetes where you can test your microservices and workloads. It's built on projects like K3S and Containerd. Today, we're going to cover Rancher Desktop 1.3. As you can see, the basic UI didn't change much version 130 we, we were talking so let's overview the ui in this part here nothing or not much change but there are there are news you're you're going to see all the new stuff coming so at the moment let's check the images in the in the cluster already deployed so we can see that basically are the images that K3S used to work. But now let's take a look how we can pull an image from Rancher Desktop. Let's pull a BCI image. So as easy as you see, you paste the URL, you pull the image, but you can do much more than that. We find the image there. We can push it to a registry, or we can scan for CVEs. As VCI is a very secure image, image we won't find any CVE. So that's cool. Let's keep going. So we can configure the Kubernetes. As we saw, we selected container D, so we need to use NerdCTL, let's make a test. Let's run an Alpine image and let's connect to the container and perform a basic ls command. And after this, we will see that however we were working on the CLI, we'll see the image in the namespace default in the Rancher Desktop UI. So, Again, we are scanning for vulnerabilities. Looks like everything is in place. Perfect. So now let's see the shiny new dashboard. Yeah, now Rancher Desktop has a dashboard, a really cool one. If you are used to Rancher, you'll see something that is familiar to you. So let's check what we can see and do from this dashboard. First of all, basic stuff, namespaces, nodes. So it's a development environment, one node, control plane, and also worker. We can see the information. We can see what is going on on that node. We can see huge amount of information demand sets, deployments in the cluster. We can see jobs, stateful set, pods. We can click, delete something. We can redeploy. We can interact with what is inside of the cluster. So we can check a pod. We see this pod is not ready. We can move on to another pod. So for instance, the load balancer, traffic, so we can, from here, execute a shell. We can connect to the pod and perform operations inside that pod just from this new dashboard. That's very cool. I think for me, it's very cool. It's, it's, it's easy and it's really intuitive. So this is great. We can see related resources also. We can see the services on the cluster, which services are deployed, which ports are using a lot of information, okay? But we don't stop here. We can also create and expose services from the dashboard. So again, very cool. We can create our own service 
load balancer like in this case we can create node port whatever we need we can do it just from here rancher desktop is about making your life easier so that's what this dashboard does makes your life easier so we can see a lot of information more ip addresses selectors we can select affinity labels all what you can expect from kubernetes but from a single and nice ui we can see also the storage storage classes persistent volumes config maps and almost any kind of resource you can imagine you can find it here so uh, k3s resources for instance you can see the add-ons the hand charts that are being used inside k3s that is what we are using at the moment we can access and interact with the role based access of the cluster so you can see cluster roles user roles you can create and destroy interact so again making your life easier so we can see also the nodes and the storage classes so i want a amount of information we can see the the traffic ingress road so we can see what is inside api resources services you know with rancher you can do anything through the api so that's all